Hi, my name is Lieutenant Colonel David Williams, and I'm here in Rovaniemi, Finland. Uh, today, we're participating in Arctic Challenge 2021, a um, multinational exercise in Finland, Norway, and Sweden, working on interoperability with our mission partners, our allies, and uh, it's great to be here. ACE 21 is a multinational uh, exercise done every two years to hone our skills of working together. It's been challenging preparing for this with the COVID. Uh, normally we would have a lot of time to interact face to face and plan, but all the planning has been done mostly over teleconference uh, from the United States. That's quite challenging to wake up at two and three in the morning, like our main planner, Captain Swenson did to be on the telecon and iron out all the details. But uh, we've been here a week uh, we've been 10 for 10 on our missions so far, and we're going for 20 for 20 by the end of the week. So we're on board a KC-135 Stratotanker uh, from the 459th Air Refueling Wing based at Andrews Air Force Base, Maryland, Joint Base Andrews. We are a uh, reserve organized, led, and executed unit. We're here uh, completely sustaining ourselves as reservists. We've taken leave from our families, uh, our, our professions, and we're all here voluntarily here to uh, help the Norwegians, the Finns, and the Swedes uh, train on air refueling. Uh, by taking off in this airplane with thousands of pounds of gas on board, we can extend their training time in the air and enhance their effectiveness in the training. It's key interoperability uh, when when we train at home, we're most of the time refueling United States airplanes. When we come over here, we work through the language barriers and the different techniques uh, that other countries use. And through this two weeks of uh, training together, we come together and form a more unified effort uh, together. Finnish, the Finnish Air Force came early this morning to put 120,000 pounds of fuel on this airplane and the one sitting beside me. And in about an hour, this airplane and the airplane beside us are gonna go up and uh, we're gonna refuel uh, 17 airplanes in about an hour and, and offload all that fuel to them. So exercises like this really enhance the proficiency of the pilots and everybody that supports the fighter pilot getting airborne and doing his mission. Uh, there's a lot of uh, working together, uh, overcoming language barriers and different ways of doing things so that uh, if it came down to it and we had to put things on the line against an opponent, we could, uh, we could do so uh, in, and as one team in one fight. But I've never had a chance to have sustained time on the ground here and it's been wonderful. Uh, working with the Finns, I can honestly say at the end of this 28 year career I'm on, they have been the greatest hosts I've ever had at a deployed location. Um, very helpful. I've had a great time working with them. Uh, their food is delicious and uh, the scenery is awesome as well. With the sun going, never going down, that's something I have not really experienced much before. Uh, uh, it, it affects your sleep, uh, but it also uh, is nice for the uh, air refueling. Being able to do that in the daytime. Uh, helps helps with the success of the uh, success of the mission. My name is uh, Captain Kyle Swenson. I have been the exercise planner for the 459th Air Refueling to participate in ACE 21 here in uh, Rovaniemi, Finland. ACE 21 Arctic Challenge Exercise 21 is a biannual exercise held between Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Absolutely, the 459th Air Refueling Wing is a complete reserve unit based out of Washington D.C. and we are providing fuel to the fight for the aircraft so they can enhance their training and stay on station longer to make sure they're combat capable and uh, make sure all the training is complete before the mission's over. Yeah, the, fin the Finnish Air Force, they refuel us with, they refuel us every morning with the gas and uh, they've been hosting us uh, within their terminal and the buildings, providing our flight plans um, and helping us execute the mission every single day. It is a huge, um, it's a huge bonus uh, to enhance our exercise uh, read readiness uh, throughout the entire region. Uh, we are a reserve unit and by coming out here, that helps us uh, stay sharp and uh, really uh, supplement the active duty forces and uh, keep us ready and ready to the fight.
Uh, flying in the Arctic region provides its own challenges with weather. It's been incredibly exciting. Uh, during the summer months, it's uh, 24 hours of sunlight, so it uh, provides a unique opportunity for pilots to be out here and uh, experience it with our Nordic partners.